Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my next update for my Pan That palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila palette. So I haven't made as much progress as I thought that I would, but I did hit another pan. So before I start talking about my progress and actually sharing with you a couple of looks that I filmed, let's go ahead and roll the slideshow of my progress up until this point. And this is my palette now. So we did expand the pan a lot, especially in like this shade right here, the gold shade quite a bit, and this light white shade towards the very end. And I finally hit pan in this shade up here at the top. So I was happy to finally hit pan in this shade right here because I did use it a lot for deepening up the outer V, especially when I was working with the mattes up here on the top. Um, so I finally hit pan there and I was also using this in my eyebrows and I still use it in my eyebrows every day. So I hit pan there, I expanded the pan. I'm actually thinking um, if this does fall apart because it, it does crumble a little bit when I use it now, I might have to repress this lightest shimmer shade, um, but I'm gonna see how once I get closer to the edges if it actually starts to like fall out of the pan. If that happens, I'll have to repress. It. I might also think about repressing the gold shade. I do still like using it, but now it's getting to the point where it's just the corners and it is a little bit harder to actually get enough product either on my finger or on my brush to use it, so I might repress that one. This last month I was really, really, really focusing on this top row, which is how I hit pan here. But I have to say, I am getting a little scared. We are at the halfway point, and despite my best efforts, I still have not hit pan in a matte shade. I, I, you know, I really thought and I really hoped I was going to hit pan in this shade this month. Um, but you can barely like looking at it, like if I put my finger in and I feel it, I feel a big dip, but like looking at it, you can't, you don't see anything. <laughs> and I was using that shade a lot. I was using it every day in every look. And I was using a lot of the shade too, because I wasn't just using it like a little bit. I was using it in my transition all the way up from my lower lash line. I still have not hit pan. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm fo I focused a lot of my effort on just that one shade, but now I'm realizing I have three more mattes in this palette that I have not been using nearly as much as that one, and now I'm kind of worried about how that's going to go the rest of this project. So I've been using this one the second most after this shade right here, and this one it barely has a dip. Like even when I, well, it's got a little bit of a dip when I put my finger in, but like I'm getting worried. I don't know if I want to franken them or just I, I really want to see how long it's gonna take me to actually like hit pan naturally but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to like use up the whole shit there's a lot of product in these matte shades there's so much product it's kind of bananas um so I have dips at least in these two these not at all and I've been using them like an okay-ish amount um but still I I'm nowhere near even getting a dip on these last two shades so worried but um, bright side, these are very great fall colors. So I'm hoping that, you know, towards the rest of this year, I'll use those mattes a little bit more. I can do some like nice fall, spooky, pumpkin spicy kind of looks. So looking forward to those, but uh, I am getting worried, <laughs> very worried. So I filmed for you guys two looks today. One is kind of the everyday look that I've been doing, especially when I don't have too much time to get ready, really utilizing like these shades up on the top and it's a really dark kind of smoky eye. So that's gonna be look number one. Look number two is the look I'm wearing today. And it's a look that I'm gonna try and start incorporating more into my everyday routines because I really utilized the bottom row here, the bottom row and then the shimmer. So let's go ahead and jump into how I created those two looks.
those are the two looks I really like how this one came out though to be honest I don't know if I would be comfortable working with this look like this bright of a look on so what I've been doing recently is doing kind of like a neutral look with these mattes up on the lid and then on my lower lash line I've been going in with one of these bright colors either the purple or the pink on my lower lash line for work and it looks really pretty but I'm not using a whole lot of the product that way but they look really pretty <laughs> So I just got to see how this next month goes. I'm hoping to hit pan and maybe one more shade down here. This one has a really big dip. So I think I could probably hit pan there. And like, I really want to hit pan in a matte shade. And I think this one's my best bet. So yeah, I know I've been doing really well in this project so far without setting goals, but I think I'm going to set a hard goal. I really want to hit pan here. And it's, it's just difficult. And I, I need to see how long it's going to legitimately take me to hit pan in one of these matte shades. So I want to hit pan in a matte shade. And then this one, since I have just a big dip in, I'm hoping I hit pan in that one. So there we have it. That is everything for this update. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram page. I do almost daily looks because I do do my makeup every day. I also update my pan that palette in real time. So whenever I hit a new pan in the palette, I update it right away on my Instagram story and I do have a highlight on my profile so you can see all the updates so far. Um, I do pre-film my videos just a slight bit. I'm typically about half a week to a week ahead um, of my videos so that they kind of pre-film and I can get them up and scheduled and whatnot. But I do update my Instagram in real time. So if you want to see anything in real time, make sure you follow me there. If you are panning a palette this year, let me know down below how it's going. Or if you own the Leela palette, let me know if you've been reaching for it any more or less often recently. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.